What is going on everyone? My name is Chris Vincelli. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna be discussing the advantages and disadvantages, the pros and cons of living in a big city. Now, I've lived in a big city for most of my life. I was born and raised in Montreal, Canada, and I've also lived in other cities around the world like Los Angeles, California, Melbourne, Australia, and now Miami, Florida. Needless to say, all very big cities with several millions of people living in them. So I feel pretty qualified to talk about life in a big city. And with that being said, in this video, I'm gonna talk about the seven advantages and disadvantages, the seven pros and cons of living in a big city. And I'm not gonna waste any time, I'm gonna dive into that right now. All right, so the first major advantage of living in a big city is transportation. Big cities are very well connected. Most big cities have a very large transportation network. For example, in big cities around the world, you'll find a very large road and highway network linking the various neighborhoods. So getting around in a big city by car is a relatively easy thing to do. You can hop in your car and drive to pretty much any part of town. And even if you wanna to drive to a different city, chances are you're not gonna to have to hop onto some country road to get there. There'll probably be a major highway leading you out of your city to get to the next one. At the same time, many big cities around the world have a large train and subway network. Subways and trains help connect the various neighborhoods of big cities together. So getting around within a big city is a relatively easy thing to do. On top of that, Big cities also tend to have something called an international airport. And so if you wanna to leave town for a few days or for a couple of weeks, you can do so pretty easily. Here in Miami, we have Miami International Airport with flights all around the world. So getting to and from a big city is a pretty easy thing to do. Most big cities have big international airports with flights all around the world. So traveling is a pretty easy thing to do, especially if you live in a big city. However, the downside is, while living in a big city, you're gonna have to deal with something called traffic. Yes, these highways and roads that you use to get from one end of town to the next tend to be clogged with other cars, particularly during rush hour. And even if you decide to take the subway or train, chances are you might have to fight to get a seat on it. And then finally, while big international airports are very convenient and conducive to economic growth, the sound of airplanes taking off and landing throughout the day can be pretty annoying. So while a big city's transportation network might be great, there are some drawbacks as well. All right, the second major benefit of living in a big city are its events. Some of these events are more local, while others are global events that attract the attention of people around the world. You might have sporting events like the Olympics, the Formula One Grand Prix, or the Super Bowl. You may also have some large international conventions taking place in big cities. And big cities do tend to host large events like music festivals and art festivals. Big cities host many different types of events, and it can be exciting to live in a place where many of these things take place. I speak from experience when I say it was awesome to see Miami host the Super Bowl in 2020 and host the Art Basel Art Fair just a few months prior to that. The obvious downside to hosting all these events though is the added traffic and noise that these big cities may see as a consequence. Getting to and from different parts of Miami was a pain in the butt while Super Bowl was happening. All these events tend to bring in so many people from around the world, and that's obviously gonna have a negative effect on traffic and noise levels. So while there are benefits to living in a big city, particularly one that hosts many international events, the drawbacks can put off a lot of people. All right, the next advantage of living in a big city is its culture and nightlife options. Most big cities tend to have some pretty large and reputable museums that you can visit. And these museums tend to host some pretty culturally significant pieces of work that are definitely worth checking out. I know the cities I lived in had some awesome museums, museums that I got to check out and learn more from. Sticking with culture, the culinary experience of big cities tend to be pretty good. Most big cities have a variety of different restaurants that you can check out. So you never really run out of dining options when you want to eat out. And on top of that, you got cuisines from all around the world. A large city might have an array of different cuisines. So you definitely have more choice whenever you eat out. And that, I must say, makes for a better culinary experience. On top of that, the bar and nightlife experience in big cities 
tend to be better. There are more options if you want to have a night on the town. From my experience, big cities have something for everyone. Whether you want to eat out or go out drinking, you have plenty of options. The downside, however, is that chances are going out for a bite to eat or for a drink in a big city is going to be a lot more expensive. To give you an example, it might cost me 20 bucks for a drink at a bar here in Miami. I know it. It's crazy, it's nuts. With 20 bucks, I could probably get like three drinks in a smaller town. So with that being said, that is indeed a major drawback, a major downside to living in a big city. Going out tends to be quite a bit more expensive. All right, so I've got a few more points I wanna bring up, but before I do so, I wanna let you know that whether you've seen my content before or if this is the first time viewing one of my videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you can be notified every single time I come out with other great and similar content. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and smash that like button. YouTube loves it when people like my videos. It helps support this growing channel. So I'll go ahead and smash that like button. Oh, and by the way, feel free to follow me on Instagram. I'm there as well. All right, the fourth big advantage of living in a big city is jobs. Big cities tend to have plenty of jobs. And these jobs come from many different industries. So no matter what you studied, no matter what your background, chances are you're gonna be able to find a pretty good job in a big city, a job that pays well. So getting a job in a big city should not be a difficult thing. There are literally thousands of different employers that exist in large cities. And I feel that's why a lot of people move to big cities to search for and start their career. However, the big drawback about finding a job in a big city is that you're competing with hundreds, if not thousands of different people for the jobs that you're looking for. While big cities do have plenty of jobs, there's also a lot of talent in big cities. So the competition for the jobs that you're looking for can be pretty fierce. So just because you found a couple of attractive jobs, that might not mean that you're actually gonna get one of them. The job hunt in a city like San Francisco or New York can be grueling, and that's mainly because you're competing with so many different people for the exact same job. Another nice thing about living in a big city is that salaries and wages tend to be higher in urban areas. Actually, it's a fact. Studies have shown that people get paid more in big cities. So if you're looking for that high paying job, chances are you're gonna find it in a large metropolitan area. On the downside, however, is that the cost of living in big cities tends to be higher. So that kind of negates whatever bump in salary you get by living in a big city. The cost of living is higher because you have more people with more money competing to live in the same space as you. Another benefit of living in a big city is Quite frankly, your shopping options. Yes, I know a lot of us do shopping online these days. Brick and mortar stores are not as relevant today as they were maybe 20 years ago. But it's good to know that if I need to buy some stuff, I have many different stores within a couple blocks from where I live. And I pretty much have limitless options when it comes to shopping for things like food and clothes. And quite frankly, that's just not gonna be the case when you live in a small city or even in a small town. Small cities and towns might have a limited number of shops that you can go to. And a lot of these small cities tend to be dominated by one or two big box stores. That's not the case in a big city. In big cities, you have options and options inevitably benefit the consumer. The downside there, however, is that you need to have some sort of impulse control when living in a big city with plenty of shopping options. Yes, I might live just a couple minutes away from a Neiman Marcus or a Saks Fifth Avenue, but that doesn't mean that I have to be there every weekend shopping for something new. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't have the discipline to stop themselves from shopping and that could severely hurt your personal finances. So be aware, for those who have problems curbing their shopping habits, living in a big city might not help you. Okay, the last advantage of living in a big city are it's people. Big cities draw people from all around the world, from all different walks of life, and you tend to meet some very interesting people in big cities like London, New York, Los Angeles, San Francisco, and of course here in Miami. Talent from all around the world tends to congregate in big cities because of the opportunities afforded to them in these large metropolitan areas. So big cities tend to have the people you're looking for. If you're looking to meet professionals, if you're looking to meet blue collar workers, white collar workers, students, there are people from so many different professions representing so many different walks of life. And I think that's one of the cool things of living in a big city is that you get to meet so many different types of people and learn from them. The one disadvantage of living in a big city is that there are a lot of jerks 
in big cities. I don't know why, maybe it's because we're stuck in traffic for hours on end, but there are just a lot of jerks in big cities and that's unfortunate. Also, I feel there's more crime in big cities. There's more people up to no good in larger cities. I think that's also unfortunate. But what do you think? For those of you who live in big cities, what do you think of the points I highlighted in this video? Is there anything that I missed? Was I off the mark on any of these points? Let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. And for those who don't live in big cities, is there a reason why you don't? Let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your opinion. And like I mentioned earlier, whether you've seen my content before or if this is the first time viewing one of my videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you can be notified every single time I come out with other great and similar content. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and smash that like button. Like I said, YouTube loves it when people like my videos. It helps support this growing channel. And by the way, I'm also on Instagram, so feel free to follow me there as well. Thanks, everyone. Talk soon.